guys, what's up? It's Juan, and today we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at my top 5 Saiyanjima 12 themes. Now, as of this video, my top 5 Saiyanjima 11 themes is the most watched video on my channel so far, with about 20k likes reviews. Likes and views. So I really appreciate, I would really appreciate if we could get this video the same type of appreciation. Now, before we begin, I need to get a quick little disclaimer out of the way. These themes aren't in any particular order, like 1 to 5 or 5 to 1. This is just a compilation of my favorite themes in the list of 5. Like I said, no particular order. And these are just themes that I like and enjoy using for the new Cyanogen 12 ROM. Like I said before, it'd be great if we could get this video the same exposure as the last one, and let's get into the list. So the first theme we're going to be going ahead and using is the Elixium UI theme. Now, before we begin, I'm going to be I'm going to be telling you guys what things I think you should theme with the themes. So for this one, you can see on the screen I think the style, the status bar, navigation bar, the fonts, and the boot animations. Because you're probably going to want to set your own icons and wallpapers if you're using themes. Now the lock screen of Elixium UI looks pretty much like the stock lock screen of Android L regularly. It has the same icons for unlock, phone, and camera, and the ripple effect for the password is exactly the same. Scrolling around the theme, you can tell that the soft keys are the same. We'll get a little bit closer up with those later. But scrolling around, you can f see that it's pretty much the same as Lollipop, and then you pull down the notification shade. The notification shade is taken over from turquoise and dark blue to pretty much dark gray, black, and white giving it a bit more touch of class. Now the soft keys are exactly the same as Android L with the circle for home, triangle for back, and square for recents. And the calculator has the same black and white um, theme to it as the rest of the theme, and same with the phone dialer. You, you also get a really nice looking keyboard with this theme that's black and white and looks absolutely fantastic. Now so guys, that was Elixium UI. A Saiyan Engine Mod theme that is free on the Play Store. The next theme we're going to be looking at is the Euphoria Dark theme. For the Euphoria Dark theme, I recommend you theme the same thing as Elixium UI, meaning the status bar, style, navigation bar, fonts, and boot animations. And for the exact same reasons as well. The lock screen for Euphoria Dark looks very good, and but looks a lot like the stock Android L one. Now the notification bar is actually very different from stock Android L. The background for the top it has shapes on it, and then it takes on a white and dark blue color scheme that that matches the theme very well, especially with that picture on top of the notification bar. Now the soft keys are exactly the same as Android L and um, Elixium UIs, where again it's just the same shapes for the same functions, but the calculator is blue, is a lighter blue and a darker gray, and same with the phone dialer. For the keyboard, you get black on white with a blue enter button, making it look really nice. And yeah, overall, Euphoria Dark Theme is a great theme that I would recommend to anybody looking for a free theme on the Play Store. The next theme we have, guys, is the Solid Alpha Theme. Now this theme is free or costs 99 cents in the Play Store. I recommend you theme the exact same things as the last theme, as the last two themes, because you guys are probably going to kind of want to customize your icons and your wallpapers. Now for this, the icons on the lock screen are actually different, and the ripple effect is pink, is a peach, or pink instead of the white. And the color scheme for this theme is really dark gray and a peach color. And if you guys remember the presser theme I did for the CM11 themes, it's pretty much like that, except instead of white, it uses dark gray. The theme looks really classy, and I definitely enjoy how the peach contrasts with the dark gray on pretty much every aspect of the theme. Now the soft keys are different, where it's home for home and X for back, and a, a little shape there, I'm not sure what that is, but it looks very nice for recents. Calculator uses the same peach and gray color scheme, and so does the phone dialer, so it, it, the theme is very matching with all the elements. The keyboard is peach on white with a peach enter button, so it matches the whole theme perfectly. Like I said before, Solid Alpha is free or 99 cents in the Play Store, depending on 
which version you want. Both versions are exactly the same, but you might want to support the developer for 99 cents. The next thing we have is Zix UI. Now Zix UI is by the same developer of Xcam UI, so it should come as no surprise that they have a couple of similarities within the theme. I recommend you theme the same exact things as Elixium UI with Zix UI because like I said in pretty much all of these themes you're going to want to theme your own icons. The lock screen is exactly the same as Android L and Elixium UI which comes as no surprise like I said before because they are from the same developer. The notification shade however is different as it's completely black and white instead of dark gray and black and while the background of the notification shade is a grayish color it's more light gray than dark gray. The soft keys are exactly the same with the shapes and the calculator is blue and gray instead of black and white in Elixium. Now the phone dialer is white and then a dark blue and the keyboard is also different as it has a blue enter button. So guys that was Zix UI. Again another free CyanogenMod 12 theme that makes the list. The next theme we have is actually a bit hard to explain because it's really five themes in one. It's the Mono family. Um, now this theme costs about two dollars or three dollars, but it comes with five themes in the price of one. Most themes these days are charging about two dollars for the themes, but this is two dollars for the price of this is five themes for the price of one. Now in mono I recommend the same exact theming as all the rest of the themes and here you can see the mono lock screen has, has the ripple effect. Now you can choose between five different colors but for this for the showing purposes of the video I'm going to use the pink alicious theme. Now as you can see with pink alicious you get um, pink on dark gray but the colors depend on which color you choose. The, the um, navigation bar buttons look very nice and the calculator matches the theme and which color you choose perfectly. The same goes for the phone dialer which is pink and dark gray in this pinkalicious version and the keyboard is black on white but with um, pink accents. So guys that was the mono family. A really complete theme that comes with five themes for the price of one. Guys if you like the video fun and helpful please make sure to give it a like and make sure to comment any questions or feedback you may have down in the comments below. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and make sure to follow me on social media like Google Plus, Twitter, and Instagram. Links will be in the description as always. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.